buried alive is a lot of people's most dreaded fear and hopefully not mine yet but after this who knows so how do we simulate that and i mean really simulate that because staring at dirt blocks would be boring i don't do boring i need pain and i need suffering don't judge me it's for the content i'm not gonna hate this at all this is not gonna be horrific and i'm gonna have fun you see a human can survive being buried between six hours and only just 10 minutes so this is where i'm gonna be spending a lot of the time and my goal is to survive it as long as possible okay this fear is ingrained into every human being that it even has its own medical name taphophobia that one i can't say it because i'm dumb i think maybe there was a lot of letters in it okay oh there's dripping sounds oh i don't like that at minute one people would panic what realizing their situation and use up their precious air I don't think I've seen particles come out like that before. But could anything cause the same stress in Minecraft? I don't think so, but that's what we're here to find out because I'm smart. Yes. After all, all I knew is that I was trapped. Nothing could create real fear. There was no fear here. Physics settings? At minute two, most oxygen would have been used. That's where danger starts. But in Minecraft? Could it really be dangerous? You see, I had researched and read several survival guides. Why are there survival guides on being buried alive? I don't know. I knew I needed to stay calm, assess this situation, and just ignore the cramped space. Drip. Mine. I hit computer. And yeah, I decided to mess around. I felt no danger. I guess I got water. And I felt safe. Without the torch, it is very dark. Little did I know, the builder had expected that. After all, it is just Minecraft. Without the torch, it is very dark. Which I suppose is closer to the actual experience. But soon, they were going to put the fear of God into me. Step one is to calmly assess your situation and look for any resources that could help you get out. Well, according to the guides. I am on the ground. And I'm seeing, you know, if we can truly replicate the experience. I mean, we have a bit more room than a coffin, so that should be good. It's just, you know, I'm already lacking um, enthusiasm for the lack of the better word, I guess. I wanted to see what tools or any items could help. Bit of bushness. What am I meant to do with the bush? I don't know. I just happened step one in replicating of being buried alive adding fear what what just happened <gasps> oh my god oh my god now there was a legitimate threat any wrong move i make could cause a cave-in i mean it's horrible like why i i thought i was fine and then it's like poof, uh no no i don't like that who made this mod especially for like minecraft you're underground like 50 percent of the time why would you need i'm back in the hole so as far as i've known as far as i've learned do not touch anything do not touch anything at all well i'm gonna hold my torch then because i have a feeling that if i wanted to light up the place i wouldn't be able to remove the torch could not be careless well at least i got some extra dirt look at it and the fact one mistake meant that anything could go wrong and to me or at least to me it felt like the hole got a lot smaller it's like unlike the infinity room where like you couldn't really feel too much you definitely feel it here why did my arms just move and not me Whoa! Oh, I teleported. I'm like the exorcist. You have to do it slowly. Oh, okay, wait. Okay. Subscribe! I had to do it. I'm sorry. That well, was it a... took so much effort. I did. Too much effort. I'm sorry. Definitely feel it. Oh, you grew. Wait, can I even break the glow things? Because that could cause another cave-in, couldn't it? But interestingly, there were other things that were getting more noticeable. To be fair, the dripping noise was really annoying, so I don't know if I would have been able to get to sleep. And the water sounds. For some reason, the sounds of the water were getting on my nerves. And exploring it may have just made it worse. No, it definitely made it worse. But it's like when you go into a cave and everything 
is like instinctually telling you to leave. Deep it. Underneath. No, I want to get in the water, please. Look, I hate it. Let me out, please. Please. Thank you. Hello? Did I hear a noise? But stupidly, I didn't really notice or even realize. Smaller the space, more I disliked it. You would think I would realize that. I thought it was the water I didn't like. But that being said, I can't explain my stupidity. I can make it worse. See, look, look. <gasps> I made it so much worse. So much worse. I'm crazy! Actually, I don't like it. I've now limited my movement to like one block. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I shouldn't have done that. I have never ever accused myself of being smart. To distract myself from my poor decision making skills, we decided to up the intensity. That's always sensible, right? Why did I make this decision? Maybe I need to like emulate this a bit better in real life because even if I am stuck in a box like this, I'm not like physically feeling it, am I? So, because like I can literally walk this way. If I'm walking this way. Yeah, chair. But you get my point. So maybe I need to feel like the pressure. Box, I think that should do. They won't notice, will they? Might as well take that as well. You see, I have three plans the greatest of plans. They may be stupid plans. Apparently, being buried alive. There's a couple of things. So in Minecraft, I don't think we're simulating it as well as we could. Because apparently there's a physical feeling as well of claustrophobia. And more things which I probably should not imitate. Like you apparently you could feel the pressure. So I'm thinking we need to imitate that, right? But I can't leave VR at the moment. So I got something earlier on, because like, hey, I was prepared for this. I actually thought it through this time. I know me thinking something through, it was simple. May I even say archaic? But my main worry was that I was setting this up in VR. The fear of pressing the wrong button is real. It is so real. Because one button press could mean a cave in. So setting it up would have a lot of issues. Okay, so I have a box in the real world. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Oh, light. That's the box. I gotta be careful while doing this. I heard a block breaking, I think. Ah, wait, I didn't think about how my headphones are gonna get in. Okay. I'm now in a box. Genius decision making, I know. I am smart, say I'm smart. I need third party validation, please. I feel like it's being recorded. I can't incriminate myself by giving <laughs> false testimony. Okay, I understand. Drama, sadness, crouch, squat. Well, it looks. I'm hitting the box a lot. Uh, I can't. Okay, here's my hands. This is as far I can move it to the right. As far as I can move it to the left. And I cannot see. I cannot move past that. Like, my head can go there. Head can go there. This is horrific. Um, the first space was actually smaller than I previously thought. Feeling of claustrophobia activated. I hit the box again. Oh no, this is horrific. Oh, I hate this. What made it even worse? I was in such a cramped space that I couldn't see the camera model. I couldn't see the mic. I couldn't see the computer. I could not work out where I was. I couldn't move properly or the VR controls were limited. I felt helpless. Oh, there's a chicken staring at me in the Face. Keep that in. Please. I felt completely helpless. But as always, it didn't stop me from being stupid though. I'm keeping an eye on this chicken, it's, it keeps scaring me. There we go. I feel claustrophobic. Ah, my box is open. No, no. Okay, I can't stand up because then I can't see anything. Does that mean my box should be on the side? No, I don't like this either. This is horrific. Mm, no. Does this look claustrophobic or do I just look stupid? I might just look stupid, I'm gonna be honest. But as always, I got distracted and when I get distracted, mistakes happen. I, it was a mistake, I promise, it was a mistake. Uh, can I bring in... Oh no! Oh no, and I placed it underneath the block. Oh sh**. 
my light source gone? I had stupidly placed my light source. That meant I couldn't pick it up without causing a cave-in. I can't believe I placed my torch. I now can't get rid of it. What am I meant to do about the lighting situation? Because at this point I had been recording for seven hours. Two of them which had been in a box. I liked it kind of like a bit miserable to, you know, replicate the dingy darkness. I placed a block! And I, I was making more mistakes. I, it's not even being buried alive. I am actively burying myself alive by mistake. I'm looking stupid in a cardboard box. Very good cardboard box though. I don't know if I was tired from recording. I don't know if it was the fear of the roof collapsing in. Feeling a little claustrophobic or just being anxious. But the builder took pity on me. I've been given a friend. It's all pixelated. I don't know why. I can't move my hand further away to get it in focus. Please just uh, ignore the fact I couldn't focus. That's definitely not a sign of anything. I promise. He hates me. Understandable. I'm being judged by a snail. It's true. I was. But more importantly, I had mistakenly placed so many blocks that it was getting hard to move. Here is kind of like the only section I can stand up still. Crouch. I want it. I am prone. Let me up. Oh shit, I can't get up. Oh no. Ow, box. It was getting hard to move and I was constantly misclicking more and more blocks. Stop it. Was this my fate to slowly be entombed by my own stupidity? The crushing weight of the walls burying me alive. The, the, the surrounding walls crashing and closing in, I guess. Okay. Hello, mother. How are you? I'm not saying anything. If that's how you feel you should spend Saturday morning, then who <laughs> oh, yeah, No, no, no. There is a reason why. No, I'm burying myself alive. If you can read that out for yourself, then you need help. No, I do not. I am perfectly fine. I can find my way out of boxes. Completely voluntary. I, I guess um, hour eight started. I don't really know what to say because, like, a lot of people would be like. So like, oh, I feel claustrophobic and I feel like really trapped and the pressure's heavy and... Well, I have a bit of anxiety. No! This is your fault. As I was saying, what I was trying to explain before the roof fell down is that, you know, normally with people like, I've been paralyzed for this long and I'm feeling this, that and the other and I'm feeling super claustrophobic and I'm... I'm not actually doing that bad. I don't know if it's because of the infinity room experience. It's like, my eyes are kind of fine. I mean, I will say like I am shortness of breath. I, I wonder if it's just because I'm in a cardboard box, but I definitely have shortness of breath. I don't really feel claustrophobic, to be honest. I just feel more that like restricted. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Cause like, I am in a box. I, I, I can't even, I am less space than actual Minecraft blocks right now. It's not too bad. So my thing is, do I have to try and make this experience? I placed a block. Thank you for that. There's a little bit of me that's like, maybe the pit in your stomach is a bit like, hey, you're not actually enjoying this, don't do it. But it's fine, I guess. Time to get the other box though, because I think we need to downsize because we are actually too um, spacious if that's the right word. Okay, so let's move this box away. Why just, why do I just do this to myself? Eh, ah, I'm in box. That's not really making me feel claustrophobic. I'm just kind of in and comfy and secure. Maybe I need to put my head in it. Okay, that's a bit worse. I don't like that. No, I do not want to do this. At the same time, I thought, of very, very sensible thought. I think it was sensible for me. Could I make it worse? Can I put a weighted blanket, please? Could you put it over my face? Gently. I do not want to break necks. Okay. Doesn't this look so professional? Yeah. I feel the pressure! Thank you, you're the best. Don't you think this is such a cool idea? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm so cool, right? You appreciate me. 
right? Please? Please? Yeah. Okay, you're still here, I couldn't tell. This won't suffocate me, will it? My head hurts. Probably putting like a certain amount of pressure on your head like constantly is not a good idea. Hello! Do I look oh, awesome? Gosh. Do not laugh at me, it's science! Hello, Papa! Mm. You didn't want to do any work in here today, did you? I literally cannot move at all. Does this make me feel worse? Yes, it definitely does. I had one last plan. It was stupid. Every time I just try to adjust myself in Minecraft, it's like, no! Ah, my feet have gone to sleep. I quite a lot of pain. I thought a couple of boxes would be softer than this. Ah! What if I just get rid of the box and I try just the weighted blanket? Weighted blanket activate! No, I feel comforted. After what? Well, we put one pillow on the floor, and then I lay on that, and then you bury me alive. Okay. Because I'm smart, you see. That's like the best way of replicating being buried alive. Oh! Back a bit. That scared the living daylights out of me. Okay. Do you want another one, Paul? Yes. Bury me alive. Thank you. Let me just. I appreciate you. Okay. I think. See thumbs up. Do you see the thumbs up? Yeah. Why are you running away? Okay, I feel a little bit more buried alive. This is quite comfortable. Do I look buried alive? Uh, you get some mud if you want. <laughs> you should just jump on me. No. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm fine. It is actually, this is extremely comfortable. I have broken free from being buried alive. Did you see my great escape? If I could do a David Attenborough impression right now. <laughs> Why would you do a David Attenborough impression? The way you just crawled out of that. Like a beautiful butterfly. If you want. <laughs> I feel like you're lying. Uh, I guess if you want to see me uh, bury someone else alive, subscribe. That's a smart decision. Will you be buried alive? No. Um, see a chicken be buried alive? Oh. Uh, see a mince pie being buried alive. Yeah! yeah.